Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Um, I just wanted to create a video to kind of show you the importance of tagging on Shutterstock. I'm going to use one of my photos for an example and show you how I tagged it. So this sunset photo um, is one that I really like. Um, it's one of my best sellers on Shutterstock. It's a photo that my husband and I took on vacation when we were in Hawaii. Um, we were in Maui, on the west side of Maui, in Lahaina. And so, of course, I tagged Hawaii, I tagged Sunset, I tagged Maui, but I also tagged Lahaina since I knew that that's where I was when I took it. So, if I go to the homepage, the Shutterstock homepage, so just Shutterstock.com, um, when you first pull up Shutterstock, you can type in whatever kind of images you're looking for. Um, I think you can change this drop down if you are looking for something else like music, for example. But for us, we're going to try to find my photo. So I'm going to leave it on images. So if I wanted to type Hawaii sunset, I'm going to just show you what all comes up when you search that. So here are the results. And if you look in the upper right hand corner, you can see that there are one of 243 pages. And if you look on the left hand side, you will see that there are 24,274 results. My photo is not on the first page. I don't even know what page my photo would be on, but I'm not going to scroll through all of those pages. So what I can do is I'm gonna go back to the home page of Shutterstock. But this time I'm going to search because I know I tagged Lahaina. I just wanna see what will come up if I search Lahaina Sunset this time. So when you type that in and hit enter or the little magnifying glass here this is what comes up and as you can see my photo is the first result this is what happens when you search lahaina sunset and as you can see again in the upper right hand corner there's one of two pages this time and there are only 108 results so this is important because there are some people who only want pictures in Lahaina. You know, there might be Lahaina businesses, Lahaina bloggers, you know, uh, people who grew up in Lahaina who want to have Lahaina photos on their website, on their blog, whatever, flyer, whatever it is. They're not just going to want any Hawaiian sunset. They might specifically want a Lahaina sunset picture. So I like that my tag is actually working. And Hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of how important it is to make sure you tag your photos in a way that'll make them um, very searchable. I mean, I feel like it's a major accomplishment just to get content approved, just to get a photo approved, just because the Shutterstock reviewers are so strict. <laughs> I feel like if you get a photo approved, that's an accomplishment. And so I want to help you to get that photo found and purchased. And so hopefully this video helps you. Another example I like to use is, let's say you have a picture of an orange ball in a yard. Of course, if it was me, I would tag orange, I would tag ball, um, I would tag yard, I would even tag grass. But let's say the sun is shining in your photo and the ball casts a shadow on the ground. If you have a shadow in your photo, add shadow as one of your tags because that could be the very thing that sets your photo apart from thousands of other photos of orange balls. And also, you know, I would even go a step further, you know, I would ask, you know, what kind of ball is it? You know, maybe is it a basketball? If so, then tag basketball. Whatever keywords you can think of to describe your photo. Uh, make sure you um, go ahead and tag those so again your photo can be easily found by buyers 
Um, so hopefully again, this video helps you. I do have another video where I'm talking about four simple ways you can make money on Shutterstock. They're very simple things you can do to make money. Um, check that out. It's been getting some good feedback from a lot of other contributors. I'll put the link to it in my video description and I'll also put the link to my portfolio if you want to check that out. So thanks for stopping by. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you later.